Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another tutorial how to install the Android Nugget, the 7.06 is the latest Android, is the Beta 6, it's an official Samsung uh, Android Nugget and I'm gonna show you how to install it and please do not skip this tutorial guys do exactly like uh, I did here because you will not have problems if you, you will do exactly like in this tutorial first of all do your backup in our tutorials you're gonna see a lot of detail and uh, we're gonna show you all the steps uh, to prevent you having problems and why not uh, to make uh, a good installation downgrade or upgrade of your operating system First of all, look for Samsung Switch, Smart Switch. It's an application that will back up your messages, contacts, uh, uh, your calls, your S Planner and even your memos. It will back up a lot of stuff from your phone. You don't want to lose anything. So download the Smart Switch. After you download the Smart Switch, you have at more preferences and you can select what kind of backup do you want to do for example i have all my music and my uh, videos documents on my sd card so i don't want to back up this because i will not touch the sd card i will work with the main memory so here i selected the contacts the memo the s health all kind of things click ok and now do a backup and while while the backup it's uh, doing on uh, the pc go at the accounts and do the backup to, to the google and the samsung account this is these two are important to the google and the samsung accounts i have the calendar i have the contacts do the contacts uh, make sure the synchronizing is active in the phone uh, put the contacts the calendar what you need for example i closed what i don't need and i don't use and also in the samsung account you can select the calendar, the contacts, the internet, keyboard, data, memo, do all of them. Because if it's a problem in a smart switch, you can restore from here uh, your data. Once your backup in the Samsung smart switch was made, copy the file beta 6 and pay attention. This is not the Android 6, it's the Android 7 beta 6, the version 6 of Android 7. Copy the zip here to the SD card. Now guys, the next step, go into the about device and in the about device, you have the software info and in software info, press six or 10 times on the build number and it will tell you the variable mode will be on. Mine all is already activated and in developer options, OEM unlock turn it on now reboot your phone into the download mode and uh, you can do this by powering off your Samsung device and hold to the minus volume down key and the main key and the power key okay let's hold on to Ignite now. Hold the volume down, the main key and the power key. Now you can uh, select volume up to continue. And now let's go in the Odin. Now uh, download the last Odin, the version 3. Point... Let me dim the light, sorry. Okay, download the last Odin version. Now in Odin, run as admin. I'm uh, running Windows 8 64 bits and um, uh, this is Odin 3.1.2 and select in AP the file that is in our description, all the files you can find it in our description and very important in the options unchecked auto reboot and you can click start and it will flash the new boot. Now. After you saw in the computer, now guys, the next step, if you saw the pass on the Odin, after you saw the pass, you have to hold, uh, because the phone will not respond, hold a volume down, power key and the main key. And when the screen will be turned off, rapidly put the 
uh, volume up, bottom key and the power key. And it will gain into the system partition, into this uh, TWRP uh, program. Now swipe to allow modification. And now what you have to do, you can select wipe and format data. And now type yes. Click OK. And now click back and select reboot option, reboot button, sorry, and under reboot button and here select recovery. Once again, install and now go in the SD card and select this program, no verify OPT and confirm to flash. Now go back. Go at the wipe, at the advanced wipe and select system, catch this Dell VK RAT catch and now swipe to make the changes. Now go back and click install and go at the beta 6, the nugget and confirm to flash. So now guys, the phone will install the Android 7 Beta 6. You have to hold on, uh, the program will do uh, the backup on itself. Click agree and click next. Next. And it will be a full wipe and clean the system. Next. 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 Now guys, after the phone boot up, you will have a fresh Android Beta 6, the Nugget, the Android 7. This uh, booting of the screen can take up to 10 minutes. Uh, you can leave your phone like this, this is not a problem. You can sense it will get a little bit hot the phone while installing this uh, operating system. After boots up, you can configure it very easily and uh, install uh, yourself all the application there is. Now guys, let's select uh, in the welcome screen the language. Okay, start. It will ask you to put your password in your uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, mine was already connected. Uh, okay, agree to all. Click next. I like this new loading icon already. I will skip for now. I will skip my account, my Google account uh, for now because I want to take a really fast look of the Android. So guys, this is the Android 7, uh, the Nugget, the new Android, the Beta 6. So you can view it here, uh, the Beta 6 the ROM version it's a new it's the latest release so hope you like this tutorial guys help you installing your new android uh, there's another way if you find uh, for example on the internet the tar files for uh, firmwaring it's my simple uh, to firmware and uh, write the file with odin you don't have to do all this process but with beta files uh, these beta files can install, you can install them only with uh, those softwares. So guys, please do not skip this video, make your restore of the backup when you installed the new Android system. Uh, watch the entire clip, uh, if it helped you, thumbs up for us and subscribe and support us on YouTube guys. Thanks for watching, have a great day, see you guys, bye!